Okay, so welcome back to Sprague River Homestead. Can you believe it's already early February? Punxsutawney Phil said six more weeks of winter. I say, buddy, we didn't get six weeks of winter all year. Where is the time gone? So since winter really hasn't ever shown up for us, the great thing is we've really only burned about a quarter of the firewood we actually thought we would this year. So if you remember back, we put away two bins which is about three cords of firewood somewhere in that neighborhood well this is one bin and we've only used half of it so far so we should start the year we should start 2018 as we get into firewood season with a full bin plus what that means is we don't have to cut as much to get through the next winter and we'll actually take that surplus roll it over the next season and probably get three full bins and maybe even get into some extra donuts leaving them up to uh, dry out for the next year. What do you got here, Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten my seed started for 2018. We're trying grow lights this year for the first time ever. So we've got two different kinds. We've got the Fairy Morris T5 fluorescent um, that I've got on some tomatoes. And then we've got this LED from Fate electric i'm not real sure how you're supposed to say that but um and we've got basil and peppers some cilantro and parsley kind of going under that so in a few weeks we'll start cabbages and all the rest of it because we're still way early for growing season this year but um we plan to do a video here in a couple weeks about seed starting when i start my cabbages and then once we get a better feel for how these lights perform We'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of a uh, review on the two different types of lights we're using for growing this year. So this doesn't probably look like much, but this big pile of lumber that we just got yesterday is going to be our base for our new cattle panel greenhouse. So we're going to be starting on that tomorrow. Hopefully have a video for at least the first half of it up this next weekend. So be sure to come back and check that out. Well, if you've seen our videos before, we've mentioned that we've needed to get this bigger greenhouse fixed. I did get started on it here not too long ago. I, I'd reordered some panels. This is a Harbor Freight greenhouse, one of the 10 by 12s, I believe it is, that I put up about four years ago. And the panels were a little on the thin side, didn't hold up real, real well. So we did have to order new panels. I've got to cut some new ones for the top and then put the new roofing on. But we are getting there. Hopefully having this ready to go for uh, when my starts in the house are moved outside. Now as well as doing the cattle panel greenhouse plus Nikki's rebuilding the Harbor Freight one, the 10 by 12 with the uh, polycarbonate sides to it, we are going to build another geodesic dome this year. So we're right now getting together materials for that and plans to do it. We need to order a few things there, but we're going to do a video on how to build a geodesic dome out of the PVC in that. So great kit, to easy to use. We'll show you how to do it and build it coming soon. So when we started our channel, one of the things we really wanted to do is be able to teach and give back to new homesteaders. So we've been watching a lot over the last year and a half that we've been kind of putting videos out. We've watched to where a lot of new homesteaders are joining the ranks and they're asking a lot of questions. So we are launching a new series this, this week. They'll come out on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And it's going to be your top five questions by section. So we'll have top five questions about goats, cows, rabbits, solar power, you name it. So if you have questions as a new homesteader, Feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll get them added on to one of our upcoming newbie question videos. So just remember, we're always watching like Big Brother trying to educate you to be better at homesteading for yourself. So with that, we'll conclude today of kind of what we've been up to. Getting really ready for 2018. We're going to take it by storm this year <laughs> and finish up our farm. So that's it for this time from Sprague River Homestead. We'll see you next time.